So here what you see is a uh, decoding of uh, a decoding of the um, W1AW um, ARRL station Morse code practice. 3581.5 is one of the frequencies. Actually, they're broadcasting on several frequencies on each of the uh, standard amateur radio bands, uh, excluding the work bands, simultaneously. And, uh, well, this is a great help for those that are trying to actually uh, decode and actually learn Morse code. And they have various speeds that they go to so you can follow the uh, slower speeds and once you actually gather your uh, your um, you know your confidence in in a slower speed uh, you can actually continue listening to their own broadcasts because they have a few very high speeds up to like 20 25 30 words per minute if you want so that will help you uh, decode even faster if you wish to learn Morse code or just make sure that your Morse code is up to par to, you know, go out there and uh, not just listen, but also transmit. So uh, it's a great, great resource and it's fun. So here you see a decoding with the um, Yisu FTDX10 and its um, capability of decoding Morse code. One of the things I've done, uh, you might notice here, I've chosen a few things. Uh, you have the digital noise reduction. I've put the attenuation at 18 decibels. And you might wonder why I've actually um, made my radio so insensitive. So I'm at the basic amplification, 18 decibel of uh, attenuation plus digital noise reduction. When you add, when you actually lower the noise floor as much as you can, but still hear the signal and use the digital noise reduction, you achieve the best ratio of um, signal to noise and when that happens that's where this digital noise reduction system really shines um, I hear a lot of people talking about you know contour and all of that it helps and there's you know some playing with that but the best friend of using the digital noise reduction on the FTDX10 is really to lower your noise floor as much as possible, which means making your radio insensitive as much as it can, but still receiving the signal, um, but not hearing as much background noise. So that's why I rarely use the amplification on these uh, on the radio. And you see how it actually works much better here. So now they will actually change speed. 